<laughs> Pretty stupid looking uh, bird house, but the birds love it. You guys kind of like our mascot in the yard. I don't know, it's some hardware company <clears throat> that sent, uh, sent us that. So today we're in the woods, uh, 26th or 27th, and it's uh, 55 degrees, probably a 20 mile an hour west wind. I'd say it's about 8.30, 9 in the morning. Sun's coming up real nice. It's going to be a nice day, but crisp. Um, just wanted to hit up a vlog because it's been a little over a week, maybe a little more. And last time I believe I talked about the, what I called the butt mushroom. If you didn't catch that one, you can watch it over here. I'll link to it in the description, maybe down too. And uh, it's pretty interesting. Obviously, it was going to grow. And there's one other thing I wanted to show you. <clears throat> show you quick was um, a tree that had come down. Uh, this probably isn't that big of a deal, but I'm always kind of uh, surprised when huge trees come down, seemingly out of nowhere. But once they're on the ground, you can really see some of the reasons why they may have come down. So we got big trees like this in the woods. You know, that's significant. That's probably two or three, well, two feet in diameter. Very straight up. Seems like the thing could last until... Um, then I got another tree over here. It's just, just off the property. But <clears throat> I wanted to show it to you because the last few weeks in the Midwest, especially, we've had a lot of rain. And that really doesn't do good for trees with uh, shallow root systems like this one and you can see that they're shallow the big roots it doesn't take much for the wind and the rain to just kind of push them over it came down and uh, when you get a look at it of course you think well it's a significant tree and it goes all the way back down there leaves on top so it's still alive but then you see something like this and you see the woodpeckers just went to town on it at the base and uh, the odds are they saw bugs in it so it didn't take much to to uproot that and while well, in the meantime this thing falling hit another branch of a tree pretty significant one took the whole thing down so it's uh it's kind of interesting, you know, and you just kind of assume big trees are big trees and they're gonna stay there and be there. You know, but limbs break off, holes form, where the limb breaks off, or it's weak or maybe rotted. Uh, critters get in there and dig around, woodpeckers peck away, rain falls into it, and it just gets weaker and weaker. And that's what happens. Uh, so you never know size of the tree. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you was the new trail cam. Here you can see the new trail cam. It's um, I can't remember the model name, it's a Moultrie, um, but it's about $100, $110. Takes great photos and videos. Uh, I believe the photos are 14 megapixel. I'll put a link in the description below uh, so you can check it out or wherever. And um, so now I can finally get back to recording and uh, photoing some of the critters in the yard um, which is always a good time to kind of see what you got back here <clears throat> and we don't hunt of course but it's it's fun to watch you know this is kind of a main alleyway for deer all winter long turkeys especially they they beat down a path through here a foot deep in the snow every year very interesting to see and watch so I'm hoping that trail cam can help us out with some of that. I'll post the footage as I get it, and uh, we'll go from there. But let's take, speaking of butt, let's take a look at that butt mushroom. <clears throat> so I called it because I didn't really have time to look it up and see what it is since I'm not an actual mushroom expert, believe it or not. Uh, it got bigger. If you remember, it was in the tree on the side. It kind of looked like a butt. That's why I called it that. Um, the, the tree looked that way. So here's what the mushroom looks like today. You know, that's pretty significant. Got a lot bigger. It's uh, 
It's flexible. I could probably break it off. It's moist, which is kind of gross. Um, but the funny thing is, this broke off a few years back, and some of the wood is right down here. And you can also see, you know, more mushrooms growing off of that. So clearly there was something in the wood or something in the tree that is growing that maybe after it died. Uh, but it's a pretty significantly tall tree. I don't know exactly the name of the dang thing. It's got the smooth bark on it if you remember. Um, I don't know if that's a box elder or a, a aspen tree or whatever the hell they call those things. Definitely not an oak or anything. <clears throat> but we have large ones of that same kind. As you can see right here with this one is significantly bigger and it's uh, huge. My canopy is, is up there. So I just wanted to show you that and um, just kind of show you the new trail cam. So I'll post the footage of the trail cam. If you guys want to check out some of my other videos, I'll have them linked around or whatever. There's some fun things we find in the, in the woods. <clears throat> and uh, just join me. It's a, good, it's a good time. We can learn together. See you later. They call these damn trees, but here's one of them. Kind of looks like it's coming out of a butt crack. <laughs>